You hate watching your child suffer, even if it's for his own good. So while the anxiety and crying during a vaccination is hard to see, it's necessary to protect your preschooler from serious diseases such as the flu, hepatitis, and polio. Even if your child's preschool doesn't ask for her vaccination records, which they may or may not, you should keep track of which vaccines your child still needs to have. By age three, your child will already have received most of her vaccines, but if she hasn't, it's a good time to catch up on the ones she may have missed. She should be finished with the hepatitis A and B vaccines, the rotavirus vaccine, the Hib or Haemophilus influenzae vaccine, and the pneumococcal vaccine. All children should receive a flu shot yearly, through injection or nasal spray. If your child is getting it for the first time, they should get two doses at least four weeks apart. Four to six-year-olds generally don't receive any new vaccines, but they should be getting the final dose in the series they began as babies. I recommend finishing them off at ages four and five, so your child is fully prepared to enter kindergarten. They'll receive the last doses of the DTAP, or the diphtheria tetanus acellular pertussis vaccine, the IPV, or inactivated poliovirus vaccine, the MMR, or the measles, mumps, rubella vaccine, and the varicella, or chickenpox vaccine, which is now required in most states prior to entering elementary school. Kids who have immune disorders or are on immunosuppressive medications may need extra vaccines to prevent pneumonia and meningitis. You may hesitate to let your child receive vaccinations because some claim that vaccines can cause autism, learning disorders, or related illnesses. But the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the American Academy of Pediatrics, the World Health Organization, Health Canada, the European Medicines Agency, and the Institute of Medicine all say that vaccines are not only safe, but necessary. While some risks still do exist, they are minor and rare. These days, the risks are far outweighed by the benefits of complete vaccination against potentially life-threatening diseases. Learn more about toddler and preschooler health in other videos of this series.